ArcPy MP is a popular map module for manipulating the contents of ArcGIS Pro projects. It's a coarser-grained API that allows us to perform many common tasks, such as automating maps, layers, and layouts. But let me tell you, based on your feedback, you need more. And we understand that. So at Pro 2.4, we want to deliver a Python developer experience that's very similar to the .NET SDK. The .NET SDK has its coarser-grained capabilities and functions. But equally as important, it has finer-grained access to the SIM, Esri's cartographic information model. The SIM is a map content specification used to persist and transfer geographic, I'm sorry, cartographic descriptions of GIS data sets in a JSON structure. Whew, OK, got that over with. So really, what's exciting here is that Python developers have fine-grained access to the SIM. Therefore, they'll have access to so many more capabilities and features. Let's take a look. I'm just outside of Olympia, Washington. And I'm going to zoom into Capitol State Forest, which has about 200 miles of a trail network. And I can tell you there are all sorts of different trail users, but all of them love maps. They especially love maps with lots of elevation detail and distances. But they also have their standards, and they want maps to look better. So we're going to use the ArcPy MP module and the SIM to modify this layer's symbology. So I've already executed the code below, but using the Arc, we're using the ArcPy MP module to find a map called Trail Routes. Then we're going to find a layer called Loops, which has many of the popular routes. But specifically, we want the one that's called Lost Valley. Now, the ArcPy MP module has access to the layer's symbology, so I want to show you that. You'll see that we only have a limited number of helper functions and properties. And those properties correspond to what we see over here in the symbology pane. But if you dig a little bit deeper, you're going to see there's a lot more. We have actually two layers for this symbol. We have a solid fill and a solid stroke. And I can tell you that many of these properties for the solid stroke are not available through the ArcPy MP module. But we know this information is here. We know it's persisted and saved. So how do we modify it? We're going to use the SIM. So what I'm showing you here is the JSON representation of this layer as a layer file. Now, please do not edit these files directly. That's what the APIs are for. But I'm showing you this for two reasons. First, I want you to appreciate the amount of information that's in these files. The SIM gives you access to this information. Next, I'm going to search on the word renderer so we can look and see how the symbology is being persisted for this layer. And the second thing I want you to pay attention to is the structure of the JSON. So we have a renderer, and it has a sim simple renderer. That has a symbol, which is a reference symbol. That has another symbol, which is a polygon symbol. That polygon symbol, I'm sorry, has symbol layers. The first one is the solid stroke. The second one is the solid fill. So now, let's use this logic to actually go in and modify the layer symbology using the sim. I'm going to load a little bit of extra code. So we've already referenced the layer. So now we're actually going to return that layer's sim definition. Now that we have that, you're going to see that the coding pattern is almost identical to JSON. We go to the renderer, the symbol reference, the polygon symbol, the symbol layers. We're going to grab the first layer. We're going to make it yellow and 50% transparent. We're going to make it relatively wide. We'll use the sim to insert some dashed lines. Then we'll modify its dashed template. We'll go to the second layer. We'll make it brown. And then we'll make it mostly transparent. Now, the pattern here is you grab the appropriate object's sim definition, you make changes, and then you push those changes back to the appropriate object. In this case, 
it's a, it's a, um, a layer. So I'm just going to scroll down here, execute the code. And I'm going to ignore the toggles that I made in the Symbology pane. And you'll see that we've updated all of those properties inside of the Symbology pane, including the addition of the dashed lines and the template. Now, because we have access to more capabilities, we can do more sophisticated automation. So in this particular example, you can see that I included an elevation profile that complements the trail map very nicely. So in summary, Python Sim Access not only complements ArcPyMP, it extends it. ArcPyMP will continue to grow, but we're going to use the Sim as an alternative way to get to that finer grained set of capabilities. This has been available to the .NET community for a number of years now, and at Pro 2.4, we're going to make it available to Python developers. If you want to learn about this now, you can actually go to the developer's documentation page. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom of that, in the lower left-hand corner, there's a link that's called Sim Specification. You can read all about it, learn more, let us know what you think.